Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial series on fisheries here, FIS309. Uh, my name is Ola Sendefit and in this series we are going to be covering majorly the calculations and we are starting off with feed formulation. But before we go into feed formulation, I would like to give you guys a piece of advice. Um, the truth is that in this department, the do not really give notes in class yeah it's just that that, that 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 has been their behavior for quite some time now they don't give out much notes in class but they explain to you in practical classes so uh, my advice is that always jot down note everything given to you in your practical classes because the set questions majorly from practical classes Aside the calculation, most of the questions, notes in note form, might not come from your notes. Some of them might not come from, most of them might come from your practical classes. Whatever they say in your practical class, please take notes and compare with your friends. Compare with friends. So we are starting off with feed formulation. Let's get started. What is feed formulation? Feed formulation is just the various ways in which feed components are combined to achieve a desired nutrient percentage. Let's take for example, find the percentage required to formulate a fish feed containing 30% protein from soybeans that has 15% protein, 50% protein and maize that has 15% protein. So now, Basically, what you are trying to say here is you are trying to formulate a fish feed that, in the end, the overall percentage need, the overall protein percentage in it should be 30 percent. But you are using soybeans that has 50 percent protein and maize that has 15 percent protein. Now, I'm not saying soybeans has 50 percent protein or maize has 15 percent protein. No, I just assumed. So that you won't see it in the exam and say soybeans contains 50% protein. No, I only assumed. All these things you will be told in your practical class. As I said, always take note of whatever you are told in your practical classes. Good. Okay. Now, let's solve this. How do you solve this? You solve it using the piercings method. Now, how do you solve using the piercings method? Firstly, you write out the components to which you are going to use to make the feed soybeans this is 50% protein and maize and this is 30 and uh, sorry 15% protein now you're going to write out the desired protein in the middle somewhere a little far from them now the desired protein component is 30%. Okay. Now you now draw a diagonal line. So you draw a diagonal line that goes straight from the top down to the bottom and from bottom to the top. You will now you you'd get values at this point and at this point. And how do you get these values? very simple now you subtract through that diagonal line like now let's take this diagonal this first diagonal line now you subtract through that means 50 minus 30 that will be 20 percent and then you also subtract to this diagonal line 30 minus 15 that's 15 percent or some people call it 15 parts or 30 parts whichever way you call it is fine now let's find the total 35 and I haven't gotten the total it is now left for it's now left for us to find the percentage that percentage of each of these components that would be used and how do you do it is the form we use the formula of um, a percentage that will be 15 all over the total times 100. And then the same goes for year 2. 
20 all over total times 100 so at the end of the day this place should be 42.9 percent and this place should be 57.1 percent so that means whatsoever whatsoever weight whatsoever kg soybeans is you are using 42.9 percent of the soybeans and you're using 57.1 percent of the maize at the end of the day by the time you combine these two you would have feed that has 30 percent protein okay so this is basically how you do it for theory but um fis should be cbt it will be cbt so how would you get it in how would you see this kind of question in cbt you can't be told to do something like this in cbt yeah it is true but there's a way they can place the question in such a way that you still do this then how do you do this for cbt i advise you to grab some snacks as we get into this part speaking of snacks this video is sponsored by Debbie Varieties. Debbie Varieties has a lot of things that mouth can chew and drink, like granuts, popcorns, peanuts, honey, kulikuli, -kuli, chips, zubo, kuno, chin chin, pomo and tinko, crayfish, dried fish, and snail. Yeah, she also sells Adire, Kampala, in form of t shirts, and many others. She is currently running a 10% discount. Check a link in the description below. Click the link and it goes directly into her DM. Tell her the product you prefer to purchase. Type the promo code DVODA and you'll be eligible for the discount. Welcome back. Now, how would you get this in exam? This is a typical question for CBT exams. What percentage of 200 kg soybeans containing 60% protein is required to produce a fish feed that contains 30% protein if the feed is formulated with maize and maize contains assuming maize contains 15% protein remember i said these values are just assumed they're not the real thing the percentage of 200 kg grams what percentage of 200 kg or soybeans will be required now let's quickly carry out the piercing you just need to quickly work it out somewhere in your notes you don't have to be detailed or something since it's not written so since you already have the idea that means the first one soybeans should be hopped at 60 percent and the maize should be done as 15 percent i believe you understand then we'll write the desired percentage at the center then the arrow goes then this one will be 15 here, yeah, then this should be 30 here. Yeah. I believe we understand that. Then the, uh, at the end of the day, it is 45 this one. So that means this one should be 15 over 45 times 100. And um, quickly doing that, that's 33.3%. .3 at this point, some people might be tempted to pick 33.3 .3 as the answer. But it is not the answer. Why? Because this is just the percentage. But the question is what percentage of 200 kg soybeans? So that means the soy, the, the weight, the amount of soybeans used that was placed in order to use to form this feed is 200 kg. But in this case, we are only using 33.3% of 200 kg and what's the 3.3 percent of 200 kg that's the 3.3 all over 100 times 200 so then it cancels and at the end of the day it becomes 66 times 6 kg so the answer is b so basically this is how you see feed formulation in your exam and another typical way you get it in exam is you'll be given letters instead of numbers so in the place of soybeans instead of protein 60 percent protein it might be a and the place of maize it might be b and you'll be told that if the desired protein to be formed is c then how would you get 
well, how, how, how would you get the quantity of hay to be produced? It's simple. This place will be B, C minus B, isn't it? And this place should be A minus C, isn't it? Usually that's how it should be. Now, it then becomes C minus B. All, uh, C minus B. We have to add these two. C minus B plus A minus C. Then you have C cancel C. Then you have A minus B. Isn't it? So, then this, the addition of these two is A minus B. So, it then becomes C minus B all over A minus B times 100. That's us. Sometimes you might be given later on. Sometimes this might be represented as something. Maybe D. Maybe D and this is E. And you now be told, how do you find D? I'm giving you typical ways in which um, all these stuff can come out in your exam. I'm like, how, how would you get D? You already know that D is what? C minus B. I know that he is what he minus c this does just understand how the piercing square works how the piercing method works and anyhow they bring the question you you are, you are good you are very good you are good to go and if you are told to, well, if 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 this is f and you are told to find f if the summation is f and you are told to find how f is being gotten you know that f is D plus E, isn't it? So just understand how because the question can just come in any of those forms. If this tutorial has been helpful, please like, share, and, and comment. Please comment because it really encourages it encourages to do more. It encourages me to do more videos. So please like, drop a comment that it has been helpful to you and so that when others see it they get encouraged to watch the video and don't forget to subscribe please subscribe and once you're subscribed click that bell sign that bell icon because it helps you get notified immediately i've posted a new video so you won't miss out help my channel grow just do me that favor of subscribing thank you very much bye